And uh, what about the dark side of it? What about the conflicts of causes and uh, the wars and, and all of that? And I think it is as well to say now uh, that religion can and does go wrong. Um, I remember uh, being sent to Bosnia uh, at the height of the Civil War. It's a very interesting experience, which can be the subject of a lecture in itself. Uh, we were sent there by Christian aid, and one of our purposes was to see that the Christian aid and Islamic relief could um, uh, deliver assistance to people regardless of confession. Now, because the um, community was so polarized in the conflict, uh, this was very difficult to do, so our mission was only very partially successful. But it did expose me to um, um, the fact that, um, in this case, a Christian expression of religion had become allied to a very nasty kind of chauvinistic nationalism, uh, which was causing huge suffering for people, in this case um, Muslims, but also others, uh, in that situation. But that uh, is, of course, not the only example. I mean, who would have believed that in post Gandhi in India, uh, the events uh, that happened in Orissa last year could have happened, but they did. Um, and also uh, countries that have been uh, affected by extremist versions uh, of Islamic ideology uh, can also be cited as examples uh, in this way. So religion can and does uh, go wrong, and uh, when it does, it causes uh, suffering and war all of those things. All I would want to say about this is that uh, if religion can and does go wrong, it is not alone uh, in human affairs in doing so. Other things can also go wrong. I mean, patriotism is a wonderful thing, isn't it? Um, to feel proud of one's country, but patriotism can go wrong. And it can become narrow and excluding and chauvinistic, as uh, we see so often. Uh, human love can go wrong. The wonderful thing human love is, between parents and children, between husband and wife, uh, among friends. So when it goes wrong, uh, it causes tremendous havoc. And, uh, we are all familiar, I'm sure, uh, with that possibility. So religion, uh, if it does go wrong, not alone in this, there are other important aspects of the human condition uh, that also uh, can and do work. Also, I think it has to be said, uh, and I know the rector is reading a book about this at the moment, um, that um, the, the possibility of a religion causing suffering and war uh, is sometimes overstated, particularly in the Western world. Um, if you look at the conflicts, uh, the big conflicts of the 20th century, the last century, uh, that is available for inspection, as it were, um, you will see that they were not caused by religion at all. They were actually caused by secular ideologies. National Socialism comes to mind. Stalinism, which perhaps caused more suffering even than the Nazis did. Mm -hmm. Chairman Mao's cultural revolution that nearly destroyed the rich cultural uh, heritage of a great nation. Um, Paul Pot. And even Saddam Hussein's Ba'ath Party was not a religious party. The Ba'ath Party in Syria and Iraq 